Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. Today we're looking into the world of walnut trees and I have a black walnut growing as a pre-bonsai in the garden. So we're going to dig that up and get it in a training pot. We're also going to go out and look at uh, some full-size walnut trees. Check out the structure of them, what they look like, how they grow, what the bark looks like, and that kind of thing. So we'll get started now. We'll dig up our pre-bonsai and get it in a training pot. So here's a close-up of our pre-bonsai walnut tree, our black walnut. You can see it's getting some nice bark, upright structure going into multi-trunks. The uh, buds are just starting to come out here. It's uh, late April and the weather's uh, pretty cool right now. We had snow this morning. I can't believe we're still having snow this late in the year, but we are. Okay, so here we go. So it's snowing again. This is typical Canadian weather. If you don't like the weather, wait an hour. You may end up with a pretty tall tree. That's all right. A walnut uh, bonsai has to be fairly big because of the leaf size. You can see we're getting a good flare at the base here. So the roots are going quite deep into the ground. So we'll continue digging and uh, come back when I'm ready to lift the tree out of the ground. Okay, so after a lot of digging, I'm down to the roots. You can see there's one, two, three, at least three really thick roots that go kind of straight down into the ground. So it's decision time now. Um, we can try, you know, another ground layer like we did on our Manitoba maple is one possibility. The other possibility is to lop the roots off, plant it in a training pot and see if it lives. And <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards that. Um, again, I don't have much time invested in this tree. Uh, and I think if we cut the roots off just as they start to flare out there, we may have enough root mass to keep the tree alive till it sprouts new roots from all the cut points. We'll see. So I think I'm going to try that. Um, one of the reasons I don't really want to air layer it is these trees get chewed by rabbits a lot and every year I leave it in the ground I risk losing the tree totally so I can either risk losing it by digging it up or it may stay in the ground and I'll lose it. You can see some trees over here that have been chewed down this year by rabbits totally dead. So I'm gonna try it. This will be an experiment. Uh, we'll see how much root you can actually prune away and still have the tree live. Uh, this is kind of similar what I did to my apple tree. It was uh, like this except it almost had just one huge root going into the ground. So I cut it off with almost no roots, took good care of it and it lived. So we're going to try the same with this tree. If it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it. So let's get out the loppers and we'll cut the roots. There are a few roots around, so we're going to try and keep those. And I'm just going to lop it off rough for now, and then we'll trim it back to the right point later. So, there's one root cut. I'll come around this side and cut the other ones. And 
there's just one left now. So we'll come around the front. Timber. So there's our stump. So I think this is about the point we want to cut the roots off at. It's got some nice flare and then all our radial roots will come out from those cut points. So let's see if we can get this trimmed up. Put our foot on here. <laughs> this is like lumberjacking. Yeah. That's pretty lousy cut, but Wow. So there's our <laughs> there's our base. We have one, two, three, a high one, four, four kind of roots. She's cut off at the base. Pretty nasty. And we'll plant that and see if it grows. Okay, it's time to pot the tree, the stump. So we're going to put a coarse layer of uh, crushed red tile in the bottom. If you are doing a drastic operation to a tree like this, make sure you do it in the right time of the year, which is now. So if this tree does survive, it's because we did it at the right time of the year. If you did this later on in the year, the chance of survival would drop dramatically. Okay. Let's get the tree in the pot. So we want to start, we'll put a layer of bonsai soil in the bottom. This is used soil from my other trees. It's still nice and loose. So it's good for, uh, you know, starting your roots and your bonsai. Okay. And we'll get the tree in the pot those roots in there, what few roots it has. Yeah, and then we'll fill it up with bonsai soil and see what happens. Okay, so the tree's planted. Uh, we're gonna place some rocks on top Again, just to stop the tree tipping over in the wind or anything. Okay, it started to snow again. I've got the rocks on the tree. We'll just water it well, see if it survives. Uh, let's go now and we'll look at some full-size walnut trees. And we'll also check around on the internet and see what people are doing with walnut bone size. So here's a black walnut in my front yard that I've been pruning, just kind of keeping it to size. They're a fast growing tree. That's about as fine as you can get the branch structure with a tree in the ground. Here's another black walnut that's in my backyard. It was getting quite tall and shading out the garden so I pruned it off with the chainsaw last spring. And you can see it's uh, really grown a lot. So they definitely back bud on old wood. So here's a couple of black walnuts. They're pretty big old trees. We'll go in and have a look at them and check out the details. There's the base of the trunk. And we go up to our first branches. Now walnut wood is pretty strong, so you can have these long, thick branches that come out from the trees. And there's the crown. Yeah, these long, thick branches, they really spread, reach for the sun. Not a lot of fine twigging, but uh, not too bad for a tree.
Here's a close up of the bark and we'll pan up, way, way up. She's a big one. Here's the other walnut tree. It's got a few lower branches. Goes up and up to the crown. Here's a group of three fairly old walnut trees. We'll pan up. So you can see the branches. If we check out this branch, it grows way, 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 way up here. Reaching for the light. Fairly long branches. They seem to be able to survive the storms and yeah. So the branches can get quite long on the walnut trees. Well, I searched on the internet to see if I can find some pictures of uh, walnut tree bone size, and I couldn't find any. I looked, uh, you know, fairly hard, but uh, all I found was some, uh, you know, young walnut tree saplings that uh, people were thinking of training as bonsai trees, but I didn't see any kind of uh, bonsai trees underway. So the only reference I have is a old book I have called Bonsai from Native Trees and Shrubs. And it's written by Werner M. Bush. I don't know when it was published. Um, Nineteen ninety-three, so it's not real, real old. But uh, so in it, uh, there is a, a two-page spread on walnut tree bone size. There's a picture of a uh, one underway, and the leaves are just coming out on it. It's uh, the leaves will they'll go quite large. And there's a picture of it here. If I can of it without its leaves. So that's about the only picture I can show you of a walnut tree bonsai. So we'll see if mine lives. If it doesn't, uh, I've got plenty of other ones started in the garden that I can dig up and I'm sure we'll get one of them underway as a bonsai tree. And we'll keep updates on this tree as, as things happen to it and uh, uh, we need to do more work on it. So that's it for today. So Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.